We are dealing with an epidemic of child sex abuse in our country and now we know around the world. And the problem is, is that we protect predators and we do not protect our children. And right now our legal system is operating in a way that prefers the predator, protects the predator, and keeps the victims out of court. The um, Catholic Conference in each state is under an obligation if child sex abuse reform legislation is introduced to lobby as hard as it can to make sure it kills the legislation. And uh, the particular type of legislation they are working hardest and investing most to stop is eliminating statutes of limitations. As uh, each state has been looking at its laws, uh, they've realized that the statute of limitations for child sex abuse is very short. Uh, and it's much shorter than most victims need to come forward. So in New York right now, if you're over 18, you cannot file for criminal prosecution. And if you're over 23, you can't file for a civil suit. Uh, since most victims need decades to come forward, the system right now prefers predators to children. It's very simple. Uh, the solution is very sim simple. Let's just eliminate the statutes of limitations in this category in child sex abuse and let them go to court. When the scandal first hit in 2002, uh, one of my first statements uh, was we need to employ the RICO laws because this is a conspiracy, it is orchestrated, uh, the, the fingerprints are everywhere, but I quickly found out that you have to show some kind of financial motive or uh, property damage in order to show that there's a RICO violation. So I've been recommending a federal amendment to the RICO laws for about eight years now that would say uh, that if an institution is engaged in uh, the cover-up or the assistance of child sex abusers, that that entity as a as a community would be subject to the RICO laws. The Vatican knows full well that these are crimes that are being committed. It knows full well the scope. No one knows more about the scope of this problem than this particular church. And yet they continue to try to stop victims from being able to go to court. It is part of our Pollyanna attitude toward religion and it's part of our elected officials in Washington thinking that they have to curry the favor of religious leaders in order to have the respect of religious believers, and that's simply not true.